Full fun fact. Did you know that the guy who invented the slingshot goalpost got the idea by looking at a fork? Well, now you know. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's football week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that have to do with American football. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a slingshot goalpost. So let's get started. It's time to draw. For today's drawing, we're actually starting with last time's drawing. And if you haven't done that yet, you might check out how to use one point perspective to draw a football field. So this is our football field. And in the back we have the horizon line. And this is the imaginary line where the sky and the earth meet. And then on, in the middle of the horizon line, we have the vanishing point. And this is the place where all of our lines converge. So it gives us a proper perspective um, and how things should look as it goes back into space. Also, we're going to be using a ruler for a straight edge today. So you'll need that. And we're just using a regular pencil to draw. Now, I've got my paper from last time. And today what we're doing, we're drawing the goal post. And they are positioned in such a way that the the uh, horizontal bar on the post is over the back edge of the end zone and so that's the first thing we need to do is to place that and I'm going to use the vanishing point to get this in the right place and I want to have it um, I'm going to say we're going to start right about here so I'm going to make a dot above this end zone so I know where to connect to I'm going to line those two up notice how I put the uh, straight edge against the pencil to start with so I get it lined up right and then I'm going to come down here and start on that dot and make a line that comes out towards me okay so this is going to be the um, horizontal bar on the goal post uh, now it's a little bit thicker so I want to make a second line right next to it and you can go above or below I think I'm going to go uh, below because so I can see it so I'm going to come down below it just a little bit, and I'm going to make another line right next to that. Okay, so this is, again, the horizontal bar. Now I need to make the uprights, and for that I'm just drawing vertical lines. And so I'm going to line that up with the edge of the paper, and then I'm going to draw, go ahead and draw this line up here. And I think I'm going to make it pretty tall. I think I'm going to go up to just over the horizon. Okay, maybe a little bit higher than that. Okay, I want to keep this line, this other side, parallel to this one. So I'm going to move my ruler over like this and draw this edge. Now, I want to make it look like the top lines up with the vanishing point as well. So I'm going to Gonna again start by putting my pencil down on the vanishing point. I'm going to line up the one part on the left here, and then I'm gonna draw a little line here so I know that's how tall they need to be so that they they actually line up with the vanishing point. Okay, race above that, and then I'm going to make these thicker, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a second line right next to it. Same on this side. Okay, that's the first line, and here's the second line right beside it. Okay, so that just makes it look like those uprights are a little wider. They're not just a thin line, they're actually a thicker bar. Okay, I want to erase right there and redraw. Okay. Okay, now the bottom part is going to curve back here and down to the, again, we're going to line it up down here right behind the end zone. So actually, I'm going to put it, I think I'll have it right about here. So I'm going to curve this back around just like that. Put a second one next to it. 
and then I want to use my ruler, my straight edge, to get the vertical line straight up and down. Just like that. Notice I made this one a little wider. That's because there is a, a pad here around the post. The whole reason this goal post was designed was so that it could remain over the, the edge of the end zone, but then it would go further back in case someone was running, someone was running that way, they wouldn't run, they'd be less likely to run into it. Now, you could still run into it, and people have, but it makes it a little bit safer being out of the way so you're not going to run into the post if you're carrying the ball into the end zone. Okay, now this, this pad at the bottom, I'm making a curve line here and a curve line below, and that makes it look like it's coming out at us, and then I want to shade it in a little bit. Okay, so this is the one side, then we're going to do the goal post on the other side in the same way. So we're going to start off, do the horizontal bar, do the uprights, and then do the end. So that's what I'm going to do next. <music> Okay, as you can see, the goalposts do look a lot like a fork with the middle tines missing. Go ahead and clean up your drawing. Add color if you'd like to. And this is our drawing for today. Football goalpost. Well, now that you know how to draw a goalpost, I hope you'll make it your goal to spend some time with your family and friends watching or playing fall sports. Thank you for taking time to draw with me today. I hope you'll come back again, and remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. That's beautiful. Are you playing with your food again? No, no, I, I'm, I'm inventing. <laughs>